Hey guys, this is Hardy with Ninja Every Day. And I'm hiking in the Indian Canyon wilderness area outside of Palm Springs, Palm Desert, California. I came out to Palm Springs to meet with my jujitsu teacher, Roy Dean, at his Roy Dean affiliate retreat. So Roy runs his programs out of Coachella Valley BJJ just over in the Palm Desert. This is my first of the retreats because this is my first year being part of the affiliation. So I knew I wanted to be part of Professor Dean's organization because I liked his jujitsu. Every time I got a belt, I would buy his DVD uh, for that belt. And uh, a big part of my jujitsu development is based specifically off of what he's taught. But late 2017, I had to make a, uh, make a choice and pick the affiliation that I was gonna be part of. And again, I knew I wanted to be part of Professor Dean's, but I didn't know how good of a fit it was gonna be until I was actually here. And this is the uh, one jujitsu conference where I've gone to and during the breaks, the other guys in the conference were talking about meditation. We were talking about um, quality of movement. We are talking about like proper body mechanics when they were performing the technique. But I never thought that I'd come to a jiu-jitsu retreat and have that sort of feeling, like that feeling that it really fit the way it did. And I'm, I'm excited that uh, it's worked out the way that it has. I'm excited to be part of this, uh, this crew and this team. And we started the uh, first part of the retreat by doing an Ashtanga Vinyasa Yoga introduction. Which was a great, a great way to start. It got us loose, got us warmed up the right way. Got us being very mindful about our movement. And then Professor Dean led us through a study of controlling the humerus, the upper arm and the leverage power that you have there. But he broke it down from an Aikido perspective and a Jiu Jitsu perspective. We did it in a, um, a couple of self-defense scenarios. And then we looked at it from uh, more of a pure jujitsu uh, application while you're rolling sort of scenario. But again, like, the fact that he can blend these traditional Japanese styles with kind of contemporary Brazilian jujitsu tactics was perfect. It's perfect for me, exactly what I'm looking for. I think it will really help what we're doing at Chapel Hill Quest Martial Arts in that it won't seem like two separate, two separate programs or two separate styles. In fact, I know for me it's going to blend very seamlessly.